So one way to share YouTube videos without all the distraction is by using a website called Wakelet. Here is Wakelet, and it's just like it sounds, wakelet.com. This is an education-based website. You can sign in with your already created Google or Office 365 credentials, so you don't need to come up with a new username and password. And what you'll do with Wakelet is you can create a bunch of uh, boards, I guess, if you wanted to think of it in Pinterest terms, but really they call them collections in Wakelet. So you can collect uh, links, videos, uh, PDFs, all kinds of different um, options, and I can show you that in a minute, but we're really going to just focus on the YouTube option. So say I wanted to create a collection of videos about World War II for students. We'll just use that as an example. So I'm signed into my um, Wakelet and I'm going to just create this collection called World War II videos. So I wanted to create kind of a playlist for students that's, that are not going to have all the video distractions that, that I would come with YouTube. So once I've done that, I can really add a YouTube video in a couple different ways. First of all, I could go out to YouTube and here's a, a video on World War II and I could just uh, click the share link or I could copy and paste uh, the URL link and then just come here to a Wakelet and click uh, when I'm in the board that I've created, just click this little green and white plus and I could just paste the URL and that'll bring the YouTube video right in. The other thing I can do is go to this little YouTube link when I've clicked on the um, plus button, just go to this YouTube link and it'll actually go right to YouTube for searching purposes. So if I typed in simple history world War two and click the search icon, it's actually going to go out to YouTube and search it. And this is the exact video that I was looking for a brief overview of world war two a brief overview of World War II. So there it is. So I'm going to just highlight it and then uh, add it. And it's going to bring it into my collection. And from here, once I share my collection with, uh, say, my students or a colleague, I can just uh, see the video right from here and play it. And it's going to take away the sidebar uh, stuff. It will take most of the um, advertising that shows up at the beginning of a YouTube video there may still be some embeddable uh, advertising and probably the show note advertising at the end to subscribe to uh, the, the YouTube channel may be there as well. But for as, as in most cases, the advertising is kind of the real concern, especially for parents. So that's one way to do it. So I'll just show you again. If I go out here, I can go to YouTube videos or I can just click the green plus button. I'll add another video. Go to YouTube. Type in simple history, World War II, click search, and let's just do um, World War II factions. You can just type in World War II factions. We'll choose this one, and we can even choose, looks like I can choose multiple ones. So I'm going to go and click both of those videos so I can add more than one at a time. So now I've got three videos and it's now time to share them with others. So to share this collection, I'm just gonna go over here and I'm gonna change this from private, which means only I can see it, to I can choose either unlisted and I'm gonna choose this option here. The public one means other people can see the collection within Wakelet and they can add it to theirs. So this one's not completed yet, so I'm not gonna go with the public option. Eventually I'll probably do that, but I'm just gonna choose the unlisted option for now. And then um, when I'm ready to save it, I can just click done. So I'm out of editing mode in Wakelet. And from here, I can either go up here to the URL and just copy this, which is kind of long, or there is a share feature up here. Sometimes it doesn't always work with this URL down here, but if you wanted to share it through Teams, you could click on the Teams link. You could also share it through Facebook, Twitter, uh, remind if you're a remind user or Google Classroom you can also create a QR code so a couple different ways to share it but then people on the other end are going to see this and again once they hit play it should bring it out and allow students to see the video without uh, distractors so I hope this was helpful